Okay, starting Photoshop from scratch. Make sure that you are in the editor. Then you're going to go File to New and go to a blank file. Give your file a name and choose your width. You can either do it in pixels or inches and your height and whatever your resolution needs to be. Once you get your item, if you need to place some items on so underneath File to Place and then go find the item that you want to put on your Photoshop document. Now it's placed at the proper resolution. If this is a JPEG and you try to enlarge it, it's going to pixelate out. I'm going to do it just so that you see what I'm talking about. And you might not even notice it too much on the screen, but when you print it out. So you can't enlarge it past whatever it places on the page. So I'm going to leave it there. And you'll notice that I have a separate layer now. So now I have to pay attention to which layer I am on. In this case, I am on the bison layer. So if I do something to this bison layer, um, for example, I might come up here to enhance and I want to adjust the color or I want to adjust the lighting. I'll go to brightness and contrast and maybe I want to brighten this way up. And of course the computer. If I want to brighten it up and I can show the preview or not if I want to adjust contrast. This is all adjusted here on this layer. I could change color. I could do things with this particular layer. Now, um, if I want to put text on here, I get my text tool. I'm going to click here and type in my text. If I don't find my text, it's probably because it's way too small for what I have or it's way too big off the page. So I want to enlarge my text. And I'm enlarging my canvas here, or it may be in white. White on white is going to be white, right? So I select it and put it in pink. So now I can see my text. Now, if I want my text to be um, in a different item, or I want I want a particular color, or if I want a gradient, I need to select that text. And I'm going to hit my Control and the plus sign a couple times to enlarge it. And I'm going to use my magic wand tool for that. And you'll notice if I click on items, I have to hold my, con my shift down to select more than one. Because I always have to select to tell, tell the item what I want to select. When I'm done selecting my items, and I didn't select everything here, I can grab my gradient tool. And I can click and drag with my gradient tool. And it will put the gradient from top to bottom if I drop, drag top to bottom, bottom to top, or I can also go from side to side. I'll also notice I have other gradient patterns here up at the top that I can choose from, and I can choose different modes here too. Hope that helped you get started a little bit with Photoshop.